In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 16, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Boston Red Sox The Oakland Athletics head to Boston to play the Red Sox today. Oakland was swept by Boston in early June and dropped the first game of the series as this is written before Wednesday night's game. Boston has started to find its groove this season after a slow start and is coming off three straight series wins over the Seattle Mariners. Los Angeles Angels, and the A's. Oakland will be starting right-hander Paul Blackbird, while Boston is starting left-hander Rich Hill. The A's are 11-4 in their last 15 Thursday games and 14-37 in their last 51 overall. Oakland is 3-9 in their last 12 in Game 3 of a series. Meanwhile, the Sox are 2-6 in their last 8 Thursday games and 19-7 in their last 26 overall. Boston is 17-4 in their last 21 versus the American League West. Although Hill has struggled as of late, the Red Sox bats have finally woken up and helped them score a ton of runs and get hot. Oakland, meanwhile, hasn't hit Hill the best in their career while although Blackburn is solid on the road, Boston seems to have his number, and the A's bullpen has struggled to limit damage in close-out ball games. Along with that, all four games they have played this season, not including Wednesday night, Boston has won by more than 1.5 runs in all of them. The average margin of victory has been 5.25 runs per game. Hill had a rough loss versus Baltimore back on May 30th with six earned on seven hits and two walks in four innings, but he's been better since then. In his last two starts, Hill has posted three earned in 10.1 innings on eight hits and two walks. As for Blackburn, he's coming off eight shutout innings in Cleveland. He'd had a couple of spotty starts before that though. I like Blackburn to keep it going here, but this is probably the Sox game to take. Boston's bats should stay hot while Oakland has been terrible in every aspect this season. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. In the four games, these teams have played they are averaging 7.75 runs, but that is Oakland scoring two. 0, 2, and 1 runs, but I do expect them to get more runs here as Hill is usually good to give up 3 to 4 runs per start. Boston has been going under the total due to its strong pitching, but this is a situation that bucks that trend. Hill has really been struggling this season, failing to make it through the 5th inning in 7 of his 11 starts. Oakland has not been a strong offensive team, but it can score enough against Hill to put the over in a good position. Meanwhile, this will be one of Blackburn's toughest tests of the season. The Athletics have gone over the total in 4 of their last six games, and I expect that trend to continue in this spot. As we have seen in this series, Boston has been able to hit Oakland hard and Hill is not the best starter so I do expect both teams to score a ton of runs. Boston's bats are heating up and Oakland hits lefties decently well which is why the overpresence value here over the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Chicago Cubs This Thursday, the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs will play their final game of this four-game series. This is the second series between these two teams this season, as the Cubs took two of three games the first time they faced off. The Padres were able to win the first two games of this series, though San Diego is coming into this series after splitting a four-game series with the Colorado Rockies. They looked great in the first half of this series, but their bats went cold in the final two games. They will need to do a better job at the plate in this one if they want to challenge the Cubs. The Chicago Cubs are entering this series with the Padres after being swept by the New York Yankees. They have now lost eight consecutive games coming into this one and they need their defense and pitching to be better if they want to avoid losing another series. San Diego is 6-0 in their last six games against the National League Central and 5-0 in Musgrove's last five starts as a road favorite while the over is 4-0 in their last four road games against a right-handed starter. Chicago is 1-6 in their last seven 
seven games against the National League West and 14 to 37 in their last 51 games as a home underdog, while the over is 17 to 7 to 3 in their last 27 games as a home underdog. San Diego has won 10 of their last 13 games and vault into first place in the National League West with a win today. As they look to earn a four-game series sweep in Chicago, we expect them to have another successful day. If the season ended today, it's likely that Padres starter Joe Musgrove would be the National League Cy Young Award winner. And for good reason, the 29-year-old has thrived with a 19.9% KBB and 3.28 skill interactive ERA and has been the fifth most valuable pitcher in all of baseball per Fangraphs. With the ability to throw six pitches, he is as bulletproof as it gets and has yet to allow more than two earned runs in a start this season. Meanwhile, although Cubs starter Matt Swarmer's underlying numbers are strong, he also allowed a 1.81 HR9 in the minors starting in AAA and that has come back to bite him at the MLB level. Fangraph's depth chart projections peg him for a 1.92 HR9 and 5.36 projected ERA, which is not ideal for the struggling Cubbies. What else needs to be said here? The talent gap between these two teams is already massive, and this is about as lopsided of a pitching matchup as one could have. I get the case to be made for a home underdog in certain spots, but the Padres have absolutely steamrolled the Cubs in the first couple of games in this series and now get their best pitcher on the bump here in Musgrove who has been nothing short of a shutdown ace this season. I think the Cubs have serious troubles once again. The Padres are currently one of the best defensive teams in the league and they have Joe Musgrove on the mound in this one. I look for the Padres to sweep the series. So the San Diego Padres money line is our full game side side pick. The Padres are currently allowing the fifth least amount of runs per game and Joe Musgrove has been dominant on the mound all season. He has started this year 7-0 and he has a 1.5 ERA. He also looked great in his previous start against the Rockies as he pitched for six innings and gave up zero earned runs. Reaching base against him has also been a challenge as he has a .93 WHIP rating. Chicago has struggled on the offensive side of the field all season as they are only scoring the 18th most runs per game. They will struggle at the play all game. I do expect the Padres to cash in on the offensive side of the field, but they aren't going to be able to push this total by themselves. I am betting on the Padres' defense with this pick. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Baltimore Orioles vs. Toronto Blue Jays A pair of teams from the American League East close out their early week series on the diamond north of the border. The Baltimore Orioles are on the road as they play the final game of a four-game series with the Toronto Blue Jays Tuesday night. These teams split the opening two games of the series with the Blue Jays rolling to a one-sided 11-1 triumph on Monday night to open the set. Baltimore responded with a 6-5 win in Game 2 of the series Tuesday night, which team leaves town with a win in the finale of this series between division rivals. Following a rough loss in the series opener, the Orioles took the second game 6-5 on Tuesday before losing in extra innings on Wednesday. So this series isn't a complete loss no matter what. Rookie CDH Adley Rutschman keeps getting chances even though he is batting under .200. I am not sure why they are putting him in the middle of the lineup though. OF Trey Mancini is one of their most consistent bats and he might not be available on Thursday. Toronto has been one of the better teams in the majors in June. The problem is that the Yankees have been so good the Blue Jays have not really made up any ground. The main difference is that the hitting has finally come around. Heading into Wednesday's action they were 10th in runs and better than that in batting average homers and OPS. Toronto has to figure out how to get more out of its rotation now that starter Hyun Jin Ryu is out for the season. It is slim pickings in the Orioles' rotation, but Tyler Wells has been better than most this season. The righty is huge at 68 but he is not overpowering, less than strikeout per inning this season. The Jays definitely have the advantage with Kevin Gaussman on the mound. He might be just 5-5 five to five, but there are a handful of pitchers in the American League that have been better than him. This will be the first game for the former Orioles prospect against the team that brought him up to the majors. The Jays have played a lot of close games this season, but as they have played the lower level teams they have been able to win big. Their last eight wins prior to Wednesday were all run line winners too, so the Toronto Blue Jays to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Baltimore has seen the undergo 31-29-3 on the season entering Wednesday. The Orioles are tied for 24th with an average of 4.02 runs per game. That drops down to 3.82 runs per game on the road on the season. Baltimore sees an average total of 8.78 runs per game this year a number that edges up slightly to 9.21 runs a game on the road. Toronto has seen the under hit in 31 of their 61 games this season, with one push, 
Entering Wednesday's action, the Blue Jays are 11th in runs per game with 4.57 runs per contest, though that number climbs to 4.63 runs per game at home this season. That is 11th in the majors when it comes to run production at home. Toronto's average total this season is 8.44 runs per game and that number climbs to 8.8 .8 runs per game at home. With the way Wells has pitched of late and what we normally expect from Gaussman, look for a return to normalcy here. Leaving the total short of the number, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.